Hi there, this is a video about laws of exponents. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the product and quotient rules when it comes to operating uh, with numbers raised to a power. All right, so uh, let's talk about what an exponent is. Um, so I'm gonna write out the number, say, three to the second power. All right, we call three our base and two is our exponent, okay? And in that, what I know is that the exponent tells us how many times we are going to multiply the base by itself. So when we do this, we end up getting that this is three times three, which gives us nine, okay? Now to extend off of that idea, let's say that we have, um, say, 2 to the third power, all right? So um, 2 cubed, we can also call it that, uh, would, would be 2 times 2 times 2, all right? And 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again gives us 8, all right? So that's the idea. So exponents provide us with repeated multiplication. Now, let's talk about the concept of the product rule. Now, what I want to do is lead you to um, how we develop a rule uh, when we multiply things. So let's say that we've got, I'm going to use the number, um, you know, let's do 3 squared times 3 to the fourth power. All right. So what I want to do, and the whole goal of this, is to write this as one term as a base with an exponent. Okay. And so we can actually combine these. Now, what I want to do is, is, is expand this out, all right? If I write out um, 3 squared, that means that I'm taking 3 times 3. Now, if I'm doing 3 to the 4th power, that means that I'm doing 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, so 3, 4 times. And we're multiplying all that. Now, what we have to do is now take this new um, concept here, and how do I rewrite this using exponents? And that would then be 3 to the 6th power, okay? So now the question is, is how do you take 2 and 4? What do you have to do with those numbers? What operation do you do to get 6? And the answer is that you would add them. All right. So now what you end up getting is we would write this as 3 to the 2 plus 4 power, um, which would just give us 3 to the 6th. OK, so I expand this out so that you can see um, how I, um, you know, arrive at this rule. All right. So we call this the product rule. All right. So the product rule is this, that if we have some number A raised to the nth power, times a raised to a different number, nth power, then we can write that as a to the m plus n power, and that you add your exponents if you're multiplying two things. Now, the one thing that you got to remember is that the bases have to be the same, okay? But the exponents can be different, all right? All right, um, let's take a look at another one. Now, in this example, we are dividing two things. Now, notice how the bases are the same, but your exponents are different. Now, what we want to do is we want to simplify this and write this as a single number raised to just one variable. All right, so we want to combine these. Now, what I want to do is write this and expand this out. So 2 to the fifth power means I'm multiplying 2 by itself five times. 2 to the third power means that I'm multiplying 2 by itself three times. Now, um, what I can then do here is look at each of these individually. All right? I can look at 2 divided by 2, 2 divided by 2, and 2 divided by 2. Now, when you have just 2 divided by 2, that's equal to 1. So these divide out to 1 over 1. Divide out to 1 over 1 divide out to 1 over 1. And as a result, you're left with 1 times 1 times 1 times 2 times 2 all over 1 times 1. Well, when you multiply all these 1s together, they just become 1 and it's not going to affect anything. So you're really just left with 2 times 2, which ends up giving you 2 squared. So the question is, how do you use the numbers 5 and 3 
to finally arrive at two. How could you skip all these steps and use some logic to arrive that two to the fifth divided by two to the third gives you two squared? And what we have to realize is that we would subtract. Okay, so you subtract your exponents. So instead of expanding all that out, if you had 2 to the 5th over 2 cubed, if you know that you just take 2 to the 5 minus 3 power and you operate in your exponents, then you can just get 2 squared. Okay, so let's come up with a rule for this. All right, so we would call this the quotient rule. Now, I'm going to use the same variables of a to the m over a to the n power. And if you wanted to simplify this and write it as one number raised to an exponent, you would just simply subtract your exponents, and that would work um, for those. So um, that's how you obtain the product and quotient rule. Let's, I'm going to do two different examples using variables um, to show you how we use these. So in these two examples, all it's going to ask you to do is just simplify this. So x to the 8th divided by x to the 3rd, remember if you're dividing things using the, uh, finding the quotient of two things, then you're just going to subtract your exponents. So x to the 8 minus 3 power is just x to the 5th. That's your answer. All right, over here... Uh, r to the 12th times r to the 5th means that you're use, finding the product of these two things. So you use the product rule, and you would just write this as r to the 12 plus 5 power, which would just give you r to the 17th. All right. So these are uh, rules and things that will make your life way easier um, in further math classes. So uh, please reach out if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.